Well, it's Sunday. I mean Saturday. Hell, I'm a day behind. I just got this big old Dexter Cleaver in to sharpen up for a guy. His wife wants it sharp. And he brought me a Henkel. Older, older model. It's in pretty good shape. And then he brought me a Wolstoff. M.O. Orgasi. It's got some chips along the blade. But other than that, it's one of my thin jobs, you know, like the Vitronox models. And then, and then along came James. Look at this. A Bolo. An old. Maybe World War I or before. I don't know anything about Bolos, but I know they've been around a long time. Look at this baby. He said he got it from his brother. He said his brother blued the blade like he would a gun barrel or something, you know. It's not in bad shape. It's got some some patina and some rust built into it right there. Some right there. He said he wants to leave it as, as it is as much as I can so I'm not going to polish it up or anything. Just sharpen it. He wants to use it actually. Handle's got a bad spot right there in it. Guess we can polish that brass up a little bit. 1912. I'm gonna look it up. Get a little more information on it. But isn't that a cool baby? It's heavy too, man. Good. Look how thick it is. I bet it weighs two pounds, three pounds, baby. It's kind of rough right down the end, is it? I think that Scotch Bright will take care of that. We'll have to go. We'll work on it tomorrow. We're getting ready to go for a walk outside. Such a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We're back to where it is now. Well, I figured the bluing might, I might just leave it on there because I'm going to be, I'm planning on using that one. But the blue one made it, uh, you know, kept it like in good shape, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow, that looks like brand new, man. Yeah, I figured while I was polishing, I'd polish them all up. That's yeah. sweet. That's a, this has been a good knife. You know, I've had this knife for about 15 years. That's a nice knife. That knife right there really is a... Is You remember that nice little walkway we have here with the little Girl Scout designs all the way down it? Well, there used to be a house right here. <laughs> Big house. Some guy bought it. They've been tearing it down now for three days. Progress, I guess you call it. I just picked up my leader's taxes. I'm headed to get some lunch. She's got a therapist came by this morning and says you got to take a nap twice a day for an hour stretch that flat she had a little bit of swelling in her right leg that she didn't particularly like so she said you take a flat nap for one hour twice per day other than that she's doing wonderful looks like the weather is going to get bad on us I don't got that many reports from the weekend the fast man, he found a nice uh, glass ring, 10 carat, in the bay. I don't think anybody's been to the land of Nada. They're filling in the bay fast. I don't know that I'll ever get back to the cave before I get detected if they haven't covered it up. I got some pictures. Uh, you know, some of the places we hunt, they got the rock jetties out front of them. 
the, like little pools in behind them. Well, they, they got almost all of those that be covered up. Well, the ones that down by East Beach are already done that way. I'll show you. It's going to be uh, terrible for us covering all that nice old gold up. We have a couple of storms before we ever get back to normal. And all that damn sand's got to go someplace. Where's it going to go? God, I hate it. All right, enough ranting. I'll get back to you. That's three in a row that's gone now. I got a beautiful, bay, beautiful view of the bay. Lot number two, lot number three. Hot flounder filet with bacon. Now, Luther says, Who ever heard of putting bacon on a flounder sandwich? Jack said, Everybody. <laughs> you take the bacon off. Jack says, Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Bacon is gone. No problem. I got a cheeseburger. We're going to share. You told me yesterday. <clears throat> That's the inside of the cheeseburger. That might be the top five cheeseburgers I've ever had in my life. That might be number one or two. It's got cheese, ham, medium hamburger and some kind of uh, dressing right there what do you call it uh they put on rubens ruben dressing i guess we call it thousand islands or something you know i'm not sure we're getting ready to test out the flounder sandwich now chris has cut it up